So Nike recently announced that the Nike Adapt app will be coming to an end. And although this has upset a lot of people, if Flappy Bird has taught us anything, people will get over it. But for now, let's dive into the groundbreaking world of Nike Adapt, a revolution in footwear technology. Today we'll explore the history of this narrative sneaker, the impact of its technology and what lies ahead as the Nike Adapt app is phased out. It all began in 2016 with the release of the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Inspired by the concept of self lacing shoes, famously seen in the movies, Back to the Future. The Hyper Adapt 1.0 features Nike's pioneer technology of self lacing shoes that was called Earl. Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. Holy shit, that is a mouthful. With just a press of a button, this shoe would automatically adjust itself to the wearer's foot. In 2019, Nike took a significant leap forward with the Adapt BB, bringing the self lacing shoe technology to the basketball court. This iteration included a motorized lacing system controlled by your smartphone, allowing athletes to fine tune their fit for maximum comfort and support while playing. It didn't take long for the Nike Adapt app to become an essential tool, offering users the ability to customize fits, change lighting colors, and receive firmware updates to keep the shoes performing at their best. I'm sure it comes to no surprise that over the the years Nike continued to expand the Adapt line, incorporating the technology in various models such as the Adapt Hirachi and the Adapt Auto Max. Boys these sound like fucking transformers. My name is Optimus Prime and I want you to come to my corner shop. Each model continued to push the boundaries of innovation combining futuristic technology with iconic Nike designs. But now in 2024 Nike decided they're gonna remove it from the App Store. What? So what does this mean for the future of Nike Adapt technology and its users? You know the guys that are spending big bucks on this shit? What are they left with Nike? On that note, it is important to mention that the shoe will still be fully functional and the technology will remain, okay? These aren't fully being stung guys. Luckily, I did not waste my money on that shit. But yeah, whoever did, fair play just. So if you do have the shoe, you will obviously know that the shoes are equipped with manual controls that allows the users to adjust the fit directly on the shoe, ensuring that the self-lacing feature continues to work seamlessly but that does not explain all the other features that just had and performance and all that look I, d I don't know I don't fucking work for Nike I'm doing a video so after doing a bit of research I found here and Nike spokesperson we understand that our customers rely on the adapt technology for their athlete and everyday needs while we're transitioning away from the app we're ensuring that the shoes retain their adaptive functionality through manual adjustments and built-in controls so they are aware that there's a lot of people that obviously still want to use the product of what it was intended to be. Like, we're just we're just gonna have to adapt ourselves realistically, aren't we? So while the app is essentially return, we have to accept that this move is a part of Nike's broader strategy to to streamline and elevate their technology offerings. You know. Nike will remain committed to innovation and integrating cutting edge technology into their products, but we have to take a loss to earn a gain. Like, it's just the way the world works. But for real, we actually lost the Nike Adapt app before GTA 6. It's important to note as well that Nike has a rich history of pushing the boundaries of footwear technology from introducing the air cushion in the late 1970s to the development of the flying Nick technology in 2012 and Nike has continued to set new standards in the industry okay so we can only imagine what's going to come next is better than what we have now but as the adapt app is phasing out Nike is looking forward to new advancements so just guys expect to see more smart technology and chance performing features a seamless line of experience in the future Nike products or hey, Adidas might come out and do it, you know. A Nike designer was also doing an interview and he says, our goal is to create products that are not only meet the needs of athletes, but also inspire them. We explore new materials and adapt technologies and sustainable practices to shape the footwear of sports. So, same shit, man. They're all just saying the same shit. I personally think they should have gave us something before they took it away and said, like, this is changing and like, Nike, come on, like Nike, you are earning big money. You don't need to really take away the cook cost, you know. Really. But as we do bid a farewell to the Nike Adapt app, we're reminded that the innovation is a journey and not a destination. So stay tuned for the next chapter of Nike's pursuit of greatness. Just do it. <laughs>
Guys, I'm trying to be very optimistic here, but I obviously understand a lot of people are going to be upset. Nike are just taking products away from people. People have spent a lot of money on this shit. A lot of money on these sneakers to use such app, etc. But it is what it is, you know. Like, as I said before, you, you have to give to receive. And unfortunately, we have to give the app back to receive something better, hopefully. Guys, that is me. That's the end of the video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, double tap, do all that. And yeah, keep it PG. Don't forget, we're the street. All right, gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me just how I do it. Ready? Rock, da 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 da